a Tecatita Corona Shapeshifter Center Mid card. Five star, five star. Looks insane. I'm so excited to test this guy out and see if he lives up to the stats. Oh, boys, El Tecatito. He's a little small to play as a, a center mid. I would recommend playing him more in an attacking role, considering he's five star, five star, but he can still make those tackles. Let's go. Let's go. El Tecatito! Oh! Come on! Vamos, boys! This left stick is mad. I've literally used him for like two minutes, and he's, his left stick is already in foul. Ref, that's a foul. Thank you. Thank you. Ref, ref, oh my god, look at that strength. That is that is criminal. That is an absolutely criminal tackle, boys. He's so good. I just gotta say it. He is so good. The, the beast that he is. Five star, five star. He's like that Acuna from last year, boys. Except he's just he's just more of an attacking, he's less of a center mid and more of just an attacking beast. Let's go. We're gonna get a goal. We're gonna that's how I just know. I just know what card's this good when you can just what is the what is this turning? He's he's the best left stick dribbler I've used in FIFA. I I I, I don't care what you say. He's the best. I don't know, Jeff. Ninety nine pens for El Tecatito boys. <sighs> Which way are we going? His keeper looks very small. It is really small. Right. All day, baby. All day. AD all day. Come on. Three goals. Thirty two minutes in. What a return, boys. Good. Through ball to Henri. Oh, yes. It's gone in. And now <laughs> if that isn't EA cheese, boys, I don't know. If that that's 45th minute cheese, actually, boy. I didn't even see it was the 45th minute. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm the worst, boys. I am the worst. Comment rat. Comment rat. Is this is this card is so much fun. He's, he's so much fun. I, I don't care. I hit it into Rosette. I think I just hit some fan in the back of the in the back of the stadium. No way. No way. No way. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Calma. Calma. Calma, boys. Come on. Vamos. Here we go. El Tecatito. Green time finish is one of our own. Come on! 98% of you are not subscribed. We are on the road to 1K subscribers. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Final thoughts. This is one of the best cards I've used. And I've used a lot of cards this year. I've used pretty much almost all the team this season, the main league cards. And this guy's so clear. He's so clear. Five star, five star, five eight, high, high. He can play Cam, he can play Striker, he can play Box to Box. I recommend playing him in an attacking role, whether that be Cam, Striker, or an attacking midfielder. Do not lock him up in the defense. You want this guy in your opponent's third, getting on the ball, making things happen, because that's what he does. He is a creative player who is going to cause absolute damage. I don't, for the price of like 330k, I have it on Footpin, where is it? It's like 330k or something. He, he was not not that expensive at all. And he's just a beast. He's so good. Look at the stats. 96 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. He's faster than almost almost all players. Faster. He's just so quick. Finishing, 92. Attack positioning, 99. Shot power, 92. Man can finish on both feet. So that pretty much just makes his finishing that much better. When you have the option to go equally on both feet, green time on both feet, finesse on both feet, it makes his finishing better. Passing, 97 short passing, 95 long passing, 98 vision with 95 curb. This is what I'm saying. You can play him cap because he's just going to put it wherever, wherever you want the perfect pass to go. El Tecatito is going to put it there, man. The, the passion, the passion, the CONCACAF passion right here. This newly signed Sevilla man, strong linking to... I think Acuna, Papu Gomez, that, that's about it though. But I don't think you really need strong links. There's so many good La Liga players to link him with. That you're, you're 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 golden. Probably I would put a, a shadow or a hunter on him, depending. I, I don't think you guys are gonna have any problems with his shooting, so I'd definitely put a shadow on him. I, even if you play him in a, in a cam as a cam, he's gonna still get into defensive roles. He's still gonna have a tackle to make every now and again, and that's where the defense defense comes in and his ability to make tackles does. But before we get to the defense, dribbling. 
Pending 5'8", probably one of the most meta heights for for players this year with regards to left stick dribbling. That new Insigne card is annoying to play. He is so good and this card reminds me of that. 98 agility, 95 balance, 94 ball control, 94 dribbling with 93 composure. He's, he's too good. He's too good of a dribbling. You do not need to touch the dribbling. His animations, he is a passionate, passionate player. And he's just going to move like a silky, silky mad lad. Defending. He's got good defensive stats. Heading accuracy, I don't really care about. But 90 defensive awareness is elite. 91 interceptions, very good. And standing tackle is good. The issue you're going to run into is the, the size and the strength if you're trying to play him as a traditional defensive midfielder, which I don't think you should do anyways because the strength is 83 and the aggression is 90. But he still can put in a good elbow, put in a good shield, and make it through some... Some challenges, or if he's making the challenge, sort of body off the attacker and, and get the ball. 98 stamina. As good as you get, pretty much. P traits, man. Chip shot. Eh. Early crosser. Very solid. Flair. Love it. Techno dribbler. Good. He's a beast. He is one of the best players I've used. I, I can't stop. I can't praise this guy enough. He is an insane card. You need to try him. You don't understand what I'm talking about until you try this card. So good, man. So, so good. I'm looking. I'm looking at the Sevilla Stronglings. I honestly forget who plays for Sevilla, boys. I know that Jesus Navas because I have him from objectives, but that's an objective card. I, I want you guys to have players you can buy on the market that you can... Oh, Kunde. Yeah, I forgot about Kunde, man. You can strong link him too. Tony Martial. Kunde. That would be an insane. Acuna. Oh, boys. That is, that is a... That is a imagine a, a lineup of left back. Acuna, center back, Kunde, center mid, Tecatito. <laughs> that is mad. I, I'm honestly going to do that right now, boys. I I, I want to see it. I want to see it in action. I want to see it, boys. No, no, no. Where's the one where they all link? 4, 2, 3, 1. 4, 2, 3, 1, boys. How do I get to the 4, 2, 3, 1? 4, 2, 3, 1. 4, 2, no, 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 no. 4, no. Yes. Right there. Look at this. This is, this is insane. This is actually insane. Send him to the club. Send him to the club. I don't care. Look at this trio of strong links. You are going to absolutely destroy your opponents with this. I use Acuna and Kunde on my on my main account team. So they're ballers, man. They're absolute ballers. Kunde especially is a is a baller, man. But look at this this trio right here. Oh my days! What a card! I I can't say it up. I can't. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna end the player review. But just know, if you buy this card, you will not regret it. You will not regret it. And that's, that's going to do it for the Playview Boys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.